Alfred, you want to party again? You've been drinking quite a bit of tea, madam. Might I upgrade you to the good stuff? <laughs> Alfred, what do you mean by the good stuff? Is this appropriate? Alfred, what do you mean the good stuff? I'm a little bit afraid right now. Yeah, I'll get the good stuff. The first cup is on me, madam, though I'm sure it won't be your last. What's up guys, my name is Sir Buckhead and welcome back to Sort the Court. Now in the last episode we completed a lot of missions and to be honest I don't know if this is going to be the last episode of Sort the Court depending on if we complete everything or not. I don't know if there's an ending to this game but if we do complete it this might be the finale or maybe the second to last episode. So let's get right into it. Oh the scientists. The gold generating machine project continues though we are running low on supplies. Okay, so I did my research and I actually think this is an actual mission. So we're going to find him, no matter how much pollution he sends to our kingdom. Okay. You know guys, this episode might be a little shorter than the rest of the Sword of Court episodes. A lot of people are like repeating themselves all the time. So we might not have any new dialogue for a long time. Skelly, any mysteries afoot? Yeah, you could join my crew. I think there's a story behind this guy too, but we probably failed it. I think he's part of the Mulder story. I haven't seen Mulder in a while. We need to increase our happiness. Skelly, reporting in, I found a way to summon people from another dimension. You want to summon some people? I've never seen this before. Oh okay, yeah, summon some people. Magic of questionable origins. Okay, I think that was just a population growth. I don't think that actually affects the story. Advisor Pia, you're a part of the um, Celestial Kingdom, yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're about to meet their king. Whoa, you have a fancy cape too. You don't always need to make such a fuss about my entrance, Pia. Anyways, yes, hello, Queen. I've heard so much about you and your people. We in the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. All four of the existing council members must be present to induct a new member. But I'm afraid Queen Shantarlyelian. Okay guys, I've been trying to say these guys' names for like two minutes, but I, I can't really speak right now, so I'm just going to call them Queen C and Queen C. We're going to call you Queen Shant, Queen Shant, Chant, and Queen Sir, Queen Sir and Queen Chant, okay. We will need you to calm them down and settle their dispute before you can join the council. You should be hearing from their advisor shortly. I'm entrusting you with the task of reconciling the two queens. Best of luck to you and afterwards that seat on the council shall be yours. That might be the end to the game. I'll keep an eye out for the advisors from the Ocean Kingdom and the Plant Kingdom. Pretty sure we're on the bad sides of both kingdoms. Like we rejected Aquaman. And I have no idea what little Groot's doing right now. Okay. I'm sure we could settle whatever that's troubling their queens. Oh, you're Aquaman's wife. Might I have some gold? To make an offering at the Ocean Shrine? Sure. Uh, am I a part of the council now? Was that just... Okay, that was nothing. Akinator? You got a business proposition? I'm already in your business proposition. This is like the 100th time you asked me. Scientists, the gold generating machine project continues, but you are running low on supplies. Come on, how many supplies do you need? Okay, we're gonna be in the negatives. I wonder if the scientist is just stealing my money. Loud noises are heard throughout the night coming from the Council of Science. Day 56 complete. Our town's growing. Hey, Witchy Poo. Looking for a coin? I could cast some dark magic to summon some gold. 
but it might cost a soul or two. Are you gonna be like Gandalf? I like you a bit more than Gandalf. I don't think you could screw me over. Like a soul or two? Yeah, that's two. Two souls for 200 gold. Thanks, you're way better than Gandalf. Royal advisor, the extra food we've been able to store in our granaries has attracted more settlers. Should we let them in? Yeah. Very good. We'll have them settled at once. Okay, we need to focus on getting our happiness up. Curious George, you've got a shiny coin. I'll take it. Thanks. Just don't throw anything at anyone. Alfred, there's a party going on. You sure like to party a lot, Alfred. Well, I guess you're still young, Alfred. You don't have any gray hair yet. Uh, yeah, you could go ahead and party. Just don't break your back. Royal advisor, some very strange creatures wish to move into the houses we built. Should we allow it? Hmm. Should we let outsiders join our village? Like, what if they're bad outsiders? What if they're like a part of, I don't know, the tree people and they're going to destroy our kingdom? Yeah, it's a new dialogue. Hopefully it's another story, not a one-time dialogue. You want 200 gold and you'll give me a large shipment of luxury goods. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, so we repaired this guy's boat like ages ago, and he decided to finally pay me back. Thanks. You're the haircut guy? You sure need a haircut. Demand for my services is up the roof. Yeah, you can raise the prices. It'll give me happiness and gold. I don't know why people are happy about raised prices, but whatever. Still waiting for new dialogue. Nothing's really happening. It's just little Fang over here keeps on asking me to stare at his magical vampire crystal, which I keep on saying no to. When's something new gonna happen? Our kingdom is awesome. Yeah, I'll accept your gift for like the hundredth time. Royal advisor, there's been a brawl at the tavern. Should we arrest those responsible for starting it? Yeah, we don't want that kind of stuff in our kingdom. Plus one happiness, that's a start. Scientists, I can hardly believe it, queen, but we've finally done it. Construction of the gold generating machine has been completed. All that remains is to turn it on. It will take a couple of days before it becomes operational, but we will begin the process tonight. Really? You didn't install, like, a turn-on button you could just click with your hands? The Council of Science celebrates as the gold-generating machine steadily builds up power. Hopefully they don't get too drunk and wake up all the kids. Or accidentally pour, like, coke on their machine and have it explode. Hey, what are you, Advisor Pontus? Good day, I'm Advisor Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom. Recently, a dispute has been raised between our queen and the plant kingdom. Yeah, I hate the plant kingdom. I'll side with you any day. A plot of marshland has been discovered and must be legally marked as the kingdom's property. Since the marsh contains water, clearly it should belong to the ocean queen. Whatever happened to the ocean king? Aquaman, did he, did he get like thrown out? Did the queen replace him? The plant queen refuses to listen to reason, however, and insists it should be hers. What does the plant queen look like? We've only seen tiny group before. Will you support our claim to the marshland? Will you help the ocean kingdom? Yeah, I'll help the ocean kingdom. I don't really like the tree kingdom. Of course, of course, I will bring word of your support to Queen Sir. Queen Sir. With you on our side, we should be able to overpower the plant kingdom and take that marsh. Good. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. Would you like a fresh cut, free of charge? Have I ever gotten a haircut before? What would that look like? Yeah, give me a haircut. You look dashing. You didn't do anything. Our work is finally complete. The gold generating machine has been activated. All we need to do now is sit back and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Many thanks to you, Queen, for supporting us in this project. So, you weren't all that bad, scientists. Hello, hello, the Council of Science has developed a new potion in need of testing. No way you are not going to conduct that on a person because last time, a guy went kaboom. 
The gold generating machine spits out a small pouch of coins for the night. The witch has slain goblins. Gossip is spreading about the witch. So I'm guessing every day the gold machine gives you a small amount of gold. That should be pretty helpful. Oh, who are you? Oh, are you um the plant advisor? Um, hello, my name is Advisor Ag Agaric. I represent the plant queen, Chanterelli, which I'm going to call Chant, Chant, Chanterelli. Yeah, whatever her name is. We heard your announcement of the support of the Ocean Kingdom in this matter of the marshland. As a land filled with grasses and plant life, that marsh rightfully belongs to the plant queen. I thought that marshland was like in the ocean. Are you guys talking about the same place? Make the right choice now. Will you back the kingdom, the plant kingdom instead? I, I really don't want to fail this quest. If I press no, I'm probably going to fail this quest. If I press yes, I'm probably going to fail this quest. So I'm going to press no. Queen Chanterelli will not be happy to hear this. I bid you farewell. Nice mushroom hat. Oh. Yeah, I'll buy some swords for my guards, slice and dice that plant kingdom. Our kingdom is still growing, what are you, Mortimer? Um, yes, hello, one of your fishermen has been bothering me. Was that that doofus I repaired his boat for? I demand a villager as uh, a sacrifice. Only one villager? I have 2,186 villagers. As long as you're not going to eat me, yeah, you, could, you can have a sacrifice. Is that just a one-time dialogue? Should I have said no? Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them with gold. We have 800 gold. Yeah, you could give them some gold. Our kingdom is looking fabulous. I've been working on a video game. It's a new thing I came up with. Think it will catch on? Yeah, it's probably going to catch on. I'm playing a video game right now. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway, it's a game where you play with others and go around killing monsters. You get a sword. Okay. Yeah, swords are great, right? Yeah, knight, the knight killed the dragon with a sword. So when you slay a monster, you get experience points. And hey, are you still listening? Yeah, I'm still listening. Good. Well, thanks for listening to my idea. Yeah. Thanks for the gold. Alfred, you want to party again? You've been drinking quite a bit of tea, madam. Might I upgrade you to the good stuff? <laughs> Alfred? What do you mean by the good stuff? Is this appropriate? Alfred, what do you mean the good stuff? I'm a little bit afraid right now. Yeah, I'll get the good stuff. The first cup is on me, madam, though I'm sure it won't be your last. What did he feed me? Our road network is expanding and we need maintenance. Is there room for a budget? Yeah, there's tons of room. Fisherman, more profit from the harbor, okay. Day 65 complete. Ah, King Andromedus, hello good queen. Seems like the trouble regarding the marshland has been all cleared up. Turns out the ocean queen wanted was a bit of recognition. Once she realized she had won, she changed her tune and was willing to share the marshland. Funny how things could get between leaders sometimes, isn't it? Well, either way, your input helped break the stalemate. For that, I am thankful. Now, as promised, your seat at the council. The Council of Crowns? I'll have Pia make the final arrangements and inform you when you're ready, when we're ready to induct you. Thank you again for your assistance in this matter. Yeah, can I get like a cool cape like you? You have like the universe in your cape. A new high-class housing district looks interesting, but there's a lot of cool stuff to find there. Okay, think I could borrow a key to the upper district gate? Are you gonna slice and dice my men? Uh, sure. Might be some new stories you're going to return later, okay. Oh, you're the ocean lady, you want some gold? Don't you have tons of gold? You're a part of the Council of Crowns. You should be rich. Look at my kingdom. I'm not even part of the Council of Crowns. Yeah, fine. Go worship your stupid. 
Aquaman Shrine. Since we opened our borders, travelers from all over are joining our city. Doesn't this warm your heart? I wish it repaired my back, but yeah, it warms my heart. Yeah, it's great to have new friends. Hey, Slimeball. There's something going on in the sewers. Are you talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You've been hearing weird sounds. Yeah, you could go investigate. Winston's on the case. You mean Slimeball? The gold generating machine gives us 20. Citizens in the upper district have experienced a string of robberies. Several witnesses claiming a thief to be a young girl. I will never trust that thief ever again. Whoa, who are you? Miriam. Oh ho, what is this strange place I've found myself in? Albert, do you know where we are? Lady, are you crazy? You're talking to an owl that's on your head. Are you part of the plant people? You're wearing their colors. Uh, my oh my, hello you queenly person there. I do believe I am a bit lost. Might I stay in this town for a while? Lady, I don't know if you're going to be like some sort of crazy witch person who's going to cast dark magic around my village. Or you're just going to be a nice plant lady. So... Uh, yeah, you could stay here. How nice. Albert and I shall find an inn to stay at. I will sure see you again. Albert seems to like me. Hey, Albert, can you fix my back? Our kingdom looks fully grown. Advisor Pia, good day, madam. We're ready to officially induct you in the Council of Crowns. There are a few formalities to observe. Can I skip over those and give you the short version? Do you guys want the long version? I can give you guys the long version. Here we go. Gather around everyone. I, Pia, of the Celestial Kingdom, do hereby call this court to session. Who are all of you guys? Oh, you're so cool. As a formally appointed advisor, I speak with the authority of the Celestial Kingdom. For ages, the Council has joined kings and queens from across the globe in alliances. I offer my blessing on behalf of the Celestial Kingdom and ask that all the other advisors present do so as well. Are you the advisors? Oh, hey there. I, Agariak of the Plant Kingdom, do hereby offer my support for this candidate. Thank you, Little Mushroom Man. Advisor Pontus, I, Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom, do hereby offer my support for this candidate. Who else is there? Little Groot? Yarno. I, Yarno of the Comfy Kingdom, do hereby offer my support to the... Wait, so you were the real advisor all this long? I had the wrong person. I told you I was the true advisor of the Comfy Kingdom. I'm sorry, Yarno. Yarno out. Button boy. Um, yes, where was I? Oh yes, here we go. With the support of all the existing council kingdoms, you are granted the right to join. I offer you this ceremonial coin as it has been offered for generations of queens before you. Huzzah! It's just one normal regular coin that places us at 69 coins! Now you have been officially inducted. I must call on the members of the council themselves to greet you. I told you I told you there would be formalities. Try not to fall asleep. King Andromedus, I ask that you come forward. Welcome Queen to the Council. We are happy to have you. I look forward to the shared success of our kingdoms. Whoa, who are you? Oh, you're you're that um plant lady. You're way better than Groot. Whoa, what happened to Aquaman? I thought Aquaman was the king. I guess it's this lady, Queen Sirith. Sir, Queen Sir, I called her Queen Sir earlier, yeah. As the tides change, so does your council. We are happy to have you. Whoa, Kingpin! I've never met Kingpin before. Greetings, I'm Kingpin, the Comfy Kingdom. Welcome to our council. Sorry about Yarno, he can be a bit of a goof. Yeah, he's harmless though, just a troublemaker. The real fellow to look out is for Bun Boy. Bun Boy, I knew it. He was the evil one. That darn Bun has been trying to rob Yarno of his position for years. Apologies, this is your ceremony. I shouldn't be talking about personal matters. You've got my blessing, of course. Welcome. 
Is that everyone? That was so long, but I kind of liked that. It was a nice ending to the series. I'm gonna miss the series. Well, it's done. I hereby call to the end of this session of the court. Thanks for staying awake. I know that ceremony can be quite tiring. Not at all. I glad I took the long part. Now that you're a part of the council, representatives from other kingdoms may come for you for help. Make sure you do your best to assist them. And, sus and sincerely, congratulations. The council is the highest rank to which a queen can rise. Another cup of tea, my lady? I've got more of that good stuff you like. Yeah, I'll take the good stuff. Congratulations, by joining the Council of Crowns, you've completed the game. You can continue to play as long as you want to wrap up any loose ends. I don't think we're gonna wrap up any loose ends. I think we did pretty good. I think this is gonna be the perfect end to a perfect series. Okay guys, I think that's gonna be enough of Sort the Court for today. The finale, we completed the game. We completed every storyline out there, except for Mortar's storyline. I don't think his is most important. But we got to the Council of Crowns, we defeated the dragon, we did all the stuff I wanted to do. This game was quite the journey, all the characters were pretty cool, and I have to admit, Gandalf was pretty funny. So if there's any more games like this, just tell me down in the comments and I'll make sure to check them out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.